Do you know that bees can sometimes get drunk? Let me tell you seven secret behaviors you didn't know about bees. First, bees have an invisible GPS. In 1972, the legendary singer Fairuz released a song called Tori El Nah, The Path of the Bee. When asked about its meaning, she said that just as bees carry a secret inner compass guiding them back to the hive no matter how far they go, so do lovers find their way back to each other through an invisible magnetic pull. A reminder for us all that beyond the noise and the many path we walk, there is always a gentle internal compass guiding us to our purpose and heart. So listen to it. Second, bees have a special dance. When a scout bee finds a source of nectar, she returns to the hive and performs a waggle dance. The angle tells the direction, the duration tells the distance, and her vigor tells the quality. She doesn't hoard the information, she immediately shares it for the good of the whole. This reminds us to both communicate our needs and boundaries and to listen carefully to the wisdom that others share with us. Third, technically, bees cannot fly. By all accounts, bees' bodies are too heavy and their wings too small to fly. But the bumblebee doesn't know this, so it flies anyways. This is a direct challenge to our self-limiting beliefs like, I'm not smart enough or I can't do that. The bumblebee teaches us to fly towards our goals based on a blend of faith and action, not on theoretical limitation. Fourth, bees can be undertakers. Bees practice spiritual hygiene. Undertaker bees immediately remove the dead from the hive to prevent disease. Consciously take out the outdated beliefs, past grudges, and expired stories. Do not let these corpses of the past linger. Acknowledge them, honor their service, and then release them to make space for a new life. Fifth, bees cook their invaders. When a giant hornet invades, bees cannot defeat it through direct force due to its size and armor. So instead, they swarm the hornet, vibrate in unison, raising the temperature to cook it. They don't attack the problem because some problems in our lives can be too powerful to confront head on. The wisdom is to stop fighting the problem directly and instead change the environment that sustains it. Six, junk bees are not allowed in the hive. Bees that consume fermented nectar become drunk and are refused entry by the guards for the safety of the colony. The lesson, be mindful of your consumption. This isn't just about food and drink, but the media we consume and the toxic emotions we allow in. And finally, seventh, bees life is a form of worship. A whole chapter in the Quran teaches us that it is by divine revelation that bees lead their purposeful life and produce honey for healing. Bees teach us that a life of clarity, defined limits, and clean intentions isn't just a goal, it's a form of worship. What is your form of worship?